This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. A new bill introduced by the State House would remove parallel parking from the driving tests to obtain a license in the state of Michigan. Representative Sarah Leitner of Springport is behind the legislation, and she says that her constituents came to her upset after paying an average of $50 for a driving test, only to fail the parallel parking portion, thus preventing them from moving on to the on-road driving portion. Starting May 15th, Sparrow Hospital will kick off a week-long event to raise awareness of what's called kangaroo care. The event is called Kangaroo-a-thon, and it's hosted by Sparrow's Regional Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. The purpose is to promote skin-to-skin -skin contact between a parent and a newborn. The hospital says that the benefits of kangaroo care included improved sleep, breastfeeding production, and faster weight gain. Hundreds of people are expected to take advantage of the dry weather by riding their bicycles from the campus of Michigan State University to the state capitol in Lansing. Cyclists from across the state will be riding in silence from MSU's campus to the state capitol Wednesday night. The annual ride of silence will be one of hundreds held across the world to raise awareness of bicycle safety. The ride has been happening for over a decade and honors cyclists that were killed or hurt while riding on public roads. Jackson City Council approved a resolution at its meeting on Tuesday night aimed at a providing flood relief to residents. People near the Sparks Foundation County Park in the city of Jackson asked council members for help with their homes that have been suffering from flood damage. People living near the park said a drainage system for a nearby lagoon has been blocked, which causes underwater flooding in the surrounding homes. The Cascade Falls lie within the boundaries of the county park. On Tuesday night, residents asked the council to approve a joint resolution with the county and the council heard their request enacted. Learn more about all of these and all of MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.